Angel Care is an agency that provides monthly physical health assessments. That is very important when you're taking care of a patient to be able to see them monthly so that you can assess their uh, physical, mental needs on a monthly basis. Uh, seeing them every three months or quarterly is not adequate enough to be able to see if they have a, you know, a problem that arises, you know, that you as a nurse would only be able to assess. So being able to see them monthly, you can assess all their physical needs and provide much more adequate care for them. The reason why the aides at Angel Care are more qualified to, as far as I'm concerned, is because they are highly tested before they start working for Angel Care. They pass all the state requirements. They are very uh, compassionate people. They care very much about their patients and providing the best care for them. The owner of Angel Care, Oscar, is very compassionate. He is hands-on with his patients, with the patients that we have with Angel Care. He goes to visit them quite often, and he is very, very concerned about the care that they're receiving from Angel Care. I do a monthly conference with Oscar, informing him of every patient and their individual problems, individual desires, likes, dislikes, and so that he is completely on board with every patient uh, that we have with Angel Care. Angel Care does have a 24-hour on-call service, which is very important. I have had quite a few patients, uh, family members say to me, I've asked them, well, why did you go with Angel Care? What, what made Angel Care different? And the response to me was that they answered the phone, that 24-hour service is truly what it means, and it does provide that, because if you're trying to get in touch with an agency and you have a dire need for to start your you know, family member with a, someone, you want to be able to reach someone, and Angel Care is, provides that completely. Angel Care's outlook as far as taking care of the patient is a holistic approach. Holistic approach means not only do we care about their physical needs, but also their mental needs, their spiritual needs, their, uh, their whole well-being, and that's what holistic means. And so you going in to take care of that patient, that aid, myself when I go to visit them, I'm concerned about any physical needs that they may have, their safety, taking care of them, but also their, their well-being, their mental status, and their, if, they ha if they are a spiritual person, then you know, being uh, aware of that also and being sensitive to that. People need to realize that it is okay to accept help, to have someone come in and provide care for their loved ones. It's important because if you do not seek that help, then you're going to unfortunately wear yourself down, you're going to be forced to financially make it more of a burden for yourself because you're going to miss work. Sometimes some family members need 24-hour help and you can't possibly do that on your own. You need to have someone come into your home and give you some hours to give you that time to that you can go out on your own and shop or just get the rest that you may need. Having your family member at home and taking care and having an aide come into your home and help you, that extends that period of time that you are able to have your family member at home, provide for them the best care possible. It's so important for that family member to have help when caring for their loved one because it will be a strain on that family member. They will not be able to do it all for on a 24-7 basis. They have to have help. And so realizing that makes it completely better for everyone involved because then everyone's health, the family member's health will stay better because they will have help taking care of their loved one and then it will long term they'll be able that family that loved one will be able to stay in their home for a longer period of time because uh, they'll have the help the uh, financially it will be better because they uh, I understand I don't know for you know I don't know exactly but I know a nursing home is going to cost a lot of money and where having your patient at having your, having your family member at home it is uh, you know 
insurance wise that is you know it's help it's taken care of if you have long-term health care insurance um, and the family member is just going to stay healthier they're going to be better taken care of it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation between uh, patient and caregiver and that patient is going to have their physical needs met better their uh, safety needs met better uh, their nutritional needs, their exercise, everything is going to be on a one-on-one -on -one basis and that is certainly much better than having your loved one in a nursing home. Angel Care is very concerned about being respectful to patients' individual spiritual needs and requirements. Angel Care is very concerned about the dietary needs of our Jewish Orthodox patients that we have. They have specific needs as far as keeping their food, their meat and milk separate from one another. They need to shop at a certain uh, location for the patient. And it's, you know, we want that patient to understand that we care about their uh, requirements just as much as they do. We are very respectful to the Orthodox Jewish uh, patients' dietary requirements. We shop for them at their at Pacific Kosher stores. We keep their dairy products separate from one another. Their utensils are kept separate from one another. And the uh, it's very important for us to adhere to all their dietary regulations and requirements. My name is Faith Kozlowski and I'm a registered nurse and I have worked for Angel Care for about six years. I am also a 14-year breast cancer survivor, so thankful that I can say that. And I just am so um, encouraged to share with anyone who ever has to go through any kind of, of difficult time, how important it is that you have your family and your friends nearby to help you, to keep that positive attitude. I don't know what I would have done if I had, didn't have my family nearby, that I wasn't able to be, if I couldn't have been at home and have them surrounding me at all times to encourage me to keep fighting. And you know, when you're going through chemotherapy and radiation, it's tough and you're, you're, you're worn down and you're, you know, you're hurting, you're in pain. But when you have people that love you, that can support you and encourage you, it means everything. Anybody's immune system is going to be greatly affected when you are going through any kind of disease and you're going through chemotherapy or whatever it may be. But when you are able to have a positive outlook and a positive influence surrounding you at all times, that is going to enable your immune system to fight better. And, and that is what happened for me. I mean, I was able to be at home. I wasn't in a hospital uh, fighting this by myself. I had my family by my side at all times, helping me to, uh, encouraging me to, to go on. And my faith is also very important. I'm a Christian and I, my prayers and the prayers of all those that love me and uh, that knew what I was going through, that, was, that meant everything to me. So again, it all has to do with your outlook. And when you're able to have a positive outlook, then it means everything. I had a lot of people by my side all the time praying for me. I mean, there was many, yeah, so do you want me to, I mean, I, just prayer. It was prayer and friends and love and concern and... Angel Care Nurse Registry is a different type of agency. Most importantly, because it, it approaches the patient's uh, well care from a holistic approach. It cares about the patient's health, as well as their mental well-being and their spiritual needs. They have a, um, we, see a we see the patients on a monthly basis. 
it is critical to have that patient seen monthly because things can change so quickly as far as their health is concerned. For example, if a patient has a wound that is just developing and you see that patient monthly, then you're able to assess that problem much more carefully than if you were to see that patient just every three months. That wound could develop into a terrible, terrible wound in that period of time. But seeing them monthly, you are much able, you're much more able to take care of that, uh, that need. Angel Care Nurse Registry is different because the care that we provide, the very, very specific uh, in, uh, interest in the patient's needs and the ability to uh, answer the phone on a 24-hour basis. I know how important that is. Patients have often said to me that the reason why that they've gone to Angel Care is because someone answered the phone immediately. And that's very important when you're looking for someone to take care of your loved one. Oscar, the owner of Angel Care, is very involved in the patient's specific needs. He visits the patients himself. He meets with them. He meets with me on a monthly basis and we, we review their specific needs and anything that they may uh, need to uh, have changed in their uh, patient on their care plan. Oscar, the owner of Angel Care, is very involved in the daily needs of his patients. He reviews with he reviews their uh, re needs with me on a monthly basis. He visits them. He is very concerned about uh, providing them with the best care possible. You know, having someone that you're cooking for, if you know what they like, they're going to eat it. So their caloric needs are going to be met. You're also going to be able to meet their fluid intake needs because you're going to see them being able to, you know, encourage them to drink their, you know, the water. Drink, you know, because so many times dehydration is a problem in pa with patients. And, you know, I mean, if, you know, I, I check their skin, you know, when I go. And if it's, you know, if the integrity of their skin is compromised at all, then I know that they're not being, you know, they're not being pushed the fluids like they should. But of course that has to be, you know, if it's all about knowing what that patient's specific needs are. And we have, I have that care. I know, I know that the aide knows what that, that, what the needs are. And so she makes sure on a daily basis you know, that all the meals are provided properly. And if possible, you know, the patient helps to, I, you know, helps to um, have a part in planning their meals because, you know, the aide knows what they like and dislike. And so they're gonna be able to have a uh, healthier uh, diet. They're gonna have a healthier diet. They're gonna eat well. They're gonna, so. <laughs> However, I'm going to say all that. I mean, you know, that's what's terrible is that it's all in my mind. It's so hard to get it out. But okay, and um... and so you know, being a part of you know planning, and the aid being aware of what they're eating, and that their probably you know their proper nutrition is being provided, and that they're eating their food, that they're drinking their fluids, that, and I don't know what else that I have written down there. Nutrition. Okay, so no, so nutrition was okay. So nutrition. If that patient is ambulatory. You know, come on, let's go for a walk. You know, the patient. If you're, you know, when you're in the home with them, let's go for a walk. Or if they're in the wheelchair, or and they're just in whatever they're, you know, let's do some leg exercises. Let's do range of motion. Safety at all times. Are they using a walker? Still, if they're using a walker, you know, you're right beside them. You're either hands on or you're standing by that you are making sure that they're safe when they're walking. When they're taking a shower, even if they're able to do their shower themselves, which of course that's important, let them continue doing it by themselves. But you get them in in the shower. There should be a shower bench in every patient's shower 
so that they can sit down, so that they can bathe themselves. But you're right there nearby providing safety at all times. Everything that you can do for that person is going to be on an individual basis. It's just going to be the caregiver and the patient. So their dietary needs, their exercise needs, their safety needs, because it's just going to be you and that patient at all times. One of the ways Angel Care is different from other agencies is that we are able to specifically focus on their nutritional needs. The aide is able to sit down with the patient, go over their menu, plan, plan with them, their likes and their dislikes. And so because of that, then they'll be able to provide for them a nutritious meal that they will enjoy eating. Nutrition is so crucial to the health of the patient because if their caloric needs are not met, then it's going to weaken them. It's, if they have any kind of disease going on, it's going to not, uh, not enable them to be able to fight that disease properly. And so you have to have the correct amount of protein in your diet and fats in your diet and fluids so that your body can sustain itself properly. Uh, many times a patient has a problem with dehydration so their fluid intake is very important. And so that aid is able to be with that patient every day, provide them with the fluid that they need, they're, especially if there's something they enjoy drinking more than something else. And they're able to monitor that and making sure that they taking in the correct amount of fluids a day. Providing for a patient's nutritional needs is crucial to their well-being, to their health. Being able to cook for the patient the meals that they enjoy eating and seeing to it that their caloric needs are met is very important to their body functioning. Dehydration is an often a problem with older patients. And so being able to see that they have the proper in, uh, fluid intake is very important. One of the greatest needs uh, that we have for as an agency is providing our patients for safety. We need to at all times provide a safe environment for them. Safe environment as far as them being able to, you know, safety also is crucial making sure that they can't get outside of their home unless they're uh, attended by some, you know, by the aide or someone else. At nighttime, when usually people are sleeping, you have to know that, that your patient, your Alzheimer's patient is, uh, is safe. And the most important way that you can provide that is having an aide on a 24 hour service. If you have an aide at nighttime, then you know that at nighttime when you're sleeping, your family member is going to be well provided for and that they are going to be safe, they're not going to be able to get outside and, um, and any harm come to them. We have a new patient that just started with our agency not long ago and the reason why they called is because the patient lived with her daughter but one night the daughter got up and her mother was nowhere to be found. She had gotten outside. They didn't have a safety, uh, safety locks on the door yet. And so it scared them to death. A, pl a policeman actually found their mother wandering around. And so the uh, agency, I mean, so this family called Angel Care. And we started immediately with the uh, family and the they have a 24-hour service so that uh, the, there is someone with, her, with the uh, patient at all times. At nighttime, that daughter who works full-time, she can sleep knowing that her mother is safe, that the aide is there. I know that we have some of our aides that do 24-hour shifts, and so they sleep, though, at a room right next door to the patient. That's just doing everything that you can, doing everything that you can think of to make sure that patient is safe during the nighttime. Night shift safety is crucial for Alzheimer's patients because that is the time when if your family member is living at home with you, you want to be able to get your own rest. And so having an aide present 
is enables that person to s securely know that their family member is being taken care of. So the aid is able to monitor that patient's whereabouts. We encourage there to be safety locks on the doors so that the door can only be unlocked from the inside if there's a key. And the, uh, the patient is always, uh, they ha has the aid there that is, has shifts, 24 hour shifts. And if the aid is able to stay the night, then the aid stays the night and maybe we'll have a baby monitor on in the other room if the patient is sleeping. So the patient is always monitored very, very carefully for their whereabouts. Safety is the number one reason why people Okay. Safety is the number one reason why we have a uh, home health care. Okay. Safety is the number one reason why people contact a home yeah. health care agency. Safety is the number one reason why people contact a home health care agency. Providing that patient with 24-hour around-the-clock care is crucial for that family's well-being, knowing that their family member is taken care of in a safe environment. Angel Care is able to go out and uh, shop for the patient. A lot of times a patient is not able to do that for themselves. So the patient and the caregiver can sit down together and they can go over a grocery list together and they can, the aide will then be able to go out and shop and, and buy for that patient what they need. Angel Care is different because we provide nutritious meals provide safety for our patients and extra and help them to exercise when able.